subscribe to the Kennedy Man Show. Do it! Just do it! Coming to you from Industry Sound Studio in Modesto, California, it's the McHenry Man Show. Thank you too much. So what up? What's... No, this is cool. Thanks for doing this, Chris. No, it's, it's, it's awesome, dude. Just like I'm just like you guys going stir crazy over here, so I appreciate well, it. Well, I'm not, I'm not going stir crazy. I go to work. We go to work so much that like, I, I can stay in my house for freaking weeks without even caring. As long as the food's there and my Wi Fi is working, Xbox Live is on, I will not have to leave the house. Hey, bro, bro, hey. I, I got off work at 11 o'clock last night. Today is my day off. I didn't even get out of bed. Yeah, same here. I get off at 11. I, it's my first day off. Yeah, they, they give you a, a waiver for, for at work that says that, you know, you, you uh, are coming home from work and you're not to be messed with. Uh, you're like from HR or something like that from where you work. Randall? I don't really need it around here, but... I mean, we have, like, we have all the dispensaries are open around here, all the pot shops. It, it Nothing's changed much around here, to be honest with you, besides the little rules that they put in place. Like, we can't, I can't serve coffee anymore. Uh, like, just little, little things. Mm. The, the divider now, six feet apart now. I have to yeah. stop people. At like, because our market is so small, I can't have more than 10 people in our store. So sometimes we get the like uh, the Mexican guys that come in. They come in like uh, two big vans at the end of the day from uh, yeah. being out uh, doing field, tree, field tree working. Work. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Are you? Oh, lost Randy again. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> yeah, because I've got a, a waiver from uh, HR and uh, from my union. I put in my you know that middle console uh, glove box. Sorry, you know, with, and so I just show them that. You know, plus I would be in my uniform. I go straight home anyway because I don't. You know, I just want to go home and lay down. So, I, but I have two papers for that. I haven't stopped. They haven't messed with me. You and a lot of time papers? too is hmm? you got your papers in line. Yes, <laughs> and my papers in line. And you know that we have a special uh, a shopping hours. Randy, you just coming through on like random robot noses. Bacon yeah. will be wow. <laughs> <laughs> I come from France. France. <laughs> uh, there's a place in France where the naked ladies dance. There's a hole in the wall where the men can see it all. <laughs> uh, uh, but you know they have special uh, shopping hours just for um, uh, the first responders. After we close at ten, the, the, from ten to eleven, they're allowed to shop. You know, uh, uh, cops, firefighters, you know, nurses, doctors, pharmacists, active military. How do you prove you're a first responder? And you have to have that. Te you have to have your uh, your your badge. Because you know badge. they have those things. Badge. Badge. Yeah, like a badge. You know, like a you know, it's a like, a, badge. like you don't need no stinking badges. Right, yeah, but it's, it's on a, a lot of them have it on a lanyard with their, their, with their face on there, and it says, yeah, yeah, the keychain. A lanyard? Yeah, retard, yeah. <laughs> you mean a lanyard? Uh, homeless is what? <laughs> <laughs> you just said it, so. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, some guy that came to, uh, tried to come in last night was uh, working for Postmates, and they said, "No, dude, you don't qualify. Sorry, you got to go back. You're not opening up." That's a first responder. You give me my dinner, <laughs> dude. Only during working hours, man. You spread your your germs all over the place. Yeah. So what if I come in there with like a fireman's outfit? Suffice. Yeah, well, you think you're a stripper? And I said, no, sorry, you ain't coming in. <laughs> <laughs> I got a post, Graham. <clears throat> yeah, so that's about it. Crickets. Yeah, some people are really paranoid about it. Yeah, people buying booze with a uh, with the wearing their masks. I said, you need to show me your face, please. One guy went, went ballistic on me. What do you mean? It's supposed to take my mask off? I said, yes. You have the mask is there to protect other people anyway, so it's like taking it down doesn't no, hurt it, you. It's to, it's to protect the people like me who have come up negative already. Uh, it also helps you prevent you from touching your face, too. 
you know, touch your mouth and your nose because these people you do it subconsciously all the time. So, you no, know, you just pepper spray your hands. That's what I heard. Yeah, yeah, just pepper spray your hands. That works. <laughs> just uh, yeah, spray uh, booze up your nose and you know, gargle with Listerine. I guess I don't know. But yeah, he got all mad, and it, a couple of cops told me, "No, it's the law. You have to show your face. What's the use of an ID if you can't see the picture of the? You can't there see you what go. the person you need looks to like." Trim those nose hairs. Anything else you that I can do for you, uh, Chris? Huh? Uh, just uh, frame your face in the camera. Hey, do, hey, do I have to? Stand your have nostril. To, <laughs> well, I have my my face close to the the phone because I don't know if you can hear me or not. I don't want to keep yelling. Oh, you don't have to. I can hear you. I'm not. I don't mean to talk with you, Dave. But, uh, no, that's fine. No, I know. I I, I trim on a regular basis. No, I I'm joking. I, I can't actually see no hairs. Whoa, whoa, whoa! I can't oh, see a hey, big I, old dark hole in the of nostrils. So okay. Chris is a fucking smartass with a big heart. So. Oh, you're half right. <laughs> 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 Thank you guys. I do have a big heart. Yeah. You better go to the doctor for that. You can't it's take shit large personal from him. <laughs> can't take shit personal from him or fucking everything will be personal. Oh yeah, well no, because if you're talking to a short girl and then uh, she looks straight up at you and <laughs> see these spiral legs coming out of your freaking nose, yeah, it's turn off, you know. Oh bro, don't let him groom you. He tried to do that to me once. I tried. I've groomed you many times. Groomed him for I know, what? I know, but I, I had to come like up with my own pizza style party. <laughs> groomed him for an Ecion. Oh, oh. <laughs> that guy missed. <laughs> him and his wife missed. They missed him. They're stupid. Is that you <laughs> Freaking stupid. That guy was dumb. You don't. Mm -mm. No, I don't think Randy knows what that stupid shit is. It's it's stupid. This is the dude that like grooms little girls for uh for uh for, for maritals with his wife. Yeah. His wife that's a man like in Japan? No, right here. Well, he's an Amer you know, he's a he was a huge YouTuber. Huge. I think he lost a lot of his uh clout, but well, I do still fucking making money on YouTube. I would imagine he, he's, 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 he had a breakdown on on, on, on puts it puts it on YouTube. It's not even real. The breakdown is just for like publicity, trying to get views. So it's yeah, like all that shit he does is bullshit. Now he's a scumbag. Yeah, it's well, you know, that's crazy. So, Gary, uh, you know, you know who Doctor Disrespect is? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, remember, he was crying about oh, he cheated on his wife. Really, we you let us know that. Yeah, it's, it's like you said. It's yeah, all why about would you put that out there? Yeah, yeah. so people will will tune in. That's the only reason why. I would share that. What were you about to say, Randy? I was gonna say that's for views. That's all for fucking views and fucking. Oh yeah. No, I was so gonna what? ask. Out. So what's what's the newest uh, newest podcast and shit going on? Fucking. All right, you know, I like listen to Joe Rogan. I like listen to Joe Rogan experience. I listen to him all the time. I know, I know some people are still active, right? JRE. Like active, active. JRE, yeah. 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 yeah, Joe Rogan's still doing his, like, in the room. Uh, King and Sting still does theirs. Theo Vaughn still does, has guests. Uh, yeah, a lot of podcasts are still doing it. I, yeah, I don't blame them. Yeah, yeah. I think Bro, I, we I watched don't... we watched the little King and the Sting fucking clip at work the other night. I fucking rolled. I mean, I was laughing balls, fucking drooling out the side of my mouth. That shit's so hilarious. Oh, that's like that's my favorite uh, podcast there is. Is King and Sting. That shit's hilarious. Yeah, every but time. Seeing, you, seeing your little clip on it and shit, and like fucking that little face reveal, like that shit. I, I was just rolling, bro. All the shit they were saying. Oh, the one you were talking about, my clip? Yeah, I watched it with my homeboy at work, bro. And fucking, like, had him snorting and shit. Like, it was it was, <laughs> it was funny. Everybody finds that funny. That was the point. I, I th But I don't, I don't know if H3, H3 is doing theirs uh, with the person in, in the studio that they do, like we're doing right now. They'll do a, uh, you know, yeah I, watch those, yeah, I watch those every once in a while. Uh, that seems to H3, be a pretty H3. popular one, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's been around for quite a long time, too. Him and his wife. Like, even Gage knew about H3 before me. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's been around for a while. Yeah. 
So did, so did Gage got any hairier? Chris? <laughs> Every day a little bit more. Fucking Chewbacca. You <laughs> freaking Sasquatch in your my, house. I love my nephew. <laughs> yeah, you let those little guys know I miss them, dude. Well. Tic Tac? Is it Tic Tac time? Jacob? No, same for my drugs. Oh. Time for the six o'clock drugs. Mm-hmm. I'll take that mine at noon. So. Hey, you guys want to see my actual setup? Are you, sure. Are you going to move your freaking green screen out of the way? You can see it? Yeah, that's cool. Nice. How long did it take you to no, make so that I, that, uh, that backdrop for, for your your show, McHenry Man show? Uh, a couple hours. Did you draw that yourself? I uh, took a photo of myself and I traced it. Oh, yeah, because it does look like you, you know. Oh, speaking of which, I was going to tell you too. You you, you remind me of of uh, of Saul. You kind of remind me of him. The way you look <laughs> after seeing him now. Yeah, I like how he said he was supposed to look like. What was that, the actor? Uh, the first he's... time I've heard this, but what? Go ahead. No, remember the actor. Remember <laughs> Saul. I mean, uh, uh, Jimmy was saying that he, he would he would uh, get confused as another actor, which he kind of does. The guy that was dancing with wolves. Oh, Kevin Costner. Kevin yes, Costner. yes, yes, Kevin yeah. Costner. Yeah. Got that shit on Blu-ray. That's a good movie, but I don't think I look like either of them. Well, you have similar I... features. Hey, bro, back in the day, my brother used to have these round fucking sunglasses that he'd wear, and he had a shaved head, and he looked just like Andre Agassi right after he shaved his head. So I, I told everybody that that's what my brother looked like for years. You mean the rebel? <laughs> the rebel? The, the fucking the, the tennis the, 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 Yeah, yeah. Andre he'd call, Agassi? He'd, yeah, he called him the rebel. Yeah, the rebel. He would, see, yeah, yeah. He would sell those cameras all the time. Those, yeah. those cameras, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was doing... He was doing meth while he was playing uh, uh, tennis. Is? Still, still winning. Yeah. Maybe that's what's helping him win. <laughs> I doubt it. Uh, <laughs> they, 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 a lot of some people said when I was younger, I looked like Pete Sampras. Who? Pete Sampras. He's another uh, tennis player. Oh, okay. Like his, I'm gonna, yeah. He looked just like his older brother. <laughs> really? Yeah, Frank you know Sampras. Camera? You look just show? like Frank. You that show up on camera? Like... <laughs> <laughs> it could be worse. Nope. Lisa? No? I said, yeah. I'm, no, I mean, I'm agreeing with you. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I was gonna wear a mask too when I was on on <laughs> taking this bit taking this video thing. Just to I know start. my Corona shirt was dirty, so I didn't wear it. <laughs> you have a Corona? I mean, the beer Corona, or you actually have a shirt with a virus on there? No, I bought a beer one a couple of weeks ago. Oh, no! Oh, funny story. We went up to uh, the Sierras up by Sonora. There's this like uh, resort thing. It was like a month ago, actually. It was a Dean's birthday thing we had planned out. It's a resort thing called Lazy Z. And they've got like a clubhouse where you can go play cards or pool or air hockey or whatever. And uh, you all have your own cabins. Like it was just uh, – it was uh, – Liz and I went up there. We got our own little cabin. And then we got a big cabin for the boys, which was just a uh, gauge and three of his friends. Uh, or two of his friends and a cousin, and uh, and there was only one other uh, couple there, and so so we were still social distancing, but uh, anyways, uh, yeah, I had ordered a uh, Corona shirt, Corona beer shirt, and we, we ended up going to Walmart up there, and as soon as I got out the car wearing the Corona shirt and like there's these two chicks and this dude standing next to a, their uh, pickup truck and they're like, mm -hmm. and then uh, 
as I'm walking in, one dude's like, oh, nice shirt, dude. Like it. And then <laughs> as I'm getting my car, an uh, employee is like, oh, I love the shirt, dude. And then I'm like, like, get away from everybody. And I'm like, eh. I, I wanted it to be amusing, but I didn't want that much attention. So. Right. Well, I have a shirt that says, uh, I just look illegal. Hey, you know, know what I want for hey, one of my don't. birthdays? What I want for one of my birthdays coming up is I want Chris to take me to Preservation Hall. That's the shirt he's wearing right now. Oh, yeah, really? That's a, that's a stupid request. <laughs> it costs a lot to go to New Orleans. No, I'm not, talking about, I'm not talking about you paying for it. I'm talking about you going with me is all I'm saying. Oh, After sure, all this bro. is over at some point, I would like to go there. I just would like to go there with somebody that, you know. Yeah, I'd love to go back there. Uh, yeah. Jacob, for those who don't know, there's a, there's this uh, documentary where uh, Foo Fighters Fun. made an album, and they went to, like, a bunch of different iconic uh, recording studios, and Preservation Hall is one of the ones that they went to to make one of their songs. No, oh, really? Yeah, and uh, Randy, what's that other one down there in the desert? Uh, Coachella? Casa de la Luna. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so, Casa de la Luna. I don't know how robotic it's coming out, but... That no, sounds perfectly. Fine. But yeah, that's actually right there yeah, but, uh, in Morongo Valley. Morongo Valley, right, right below where I used to live. And it, you know, like a few miles. And we lost Jacob. There's no nice back. No, but what what's that uh place called? That desert, that valley, that uh, what do they call that? Death Valley. It's a, yeah, it's right around Death Valley, but uh, oh. Yucca Valley, the Burning Man. <laughs> yeah, all that. No, it's not. Yeah, never mind. What? I can hear you. I just can't think of what it was called. Like, where the the uh, Queens of the Stone Age are, like, basically from. Jacob, are you familiar with the Queens of the Stone Age? I, yeah, well, if I heard, yeah, I've heard their name a bunch of times, and I've probably heard their music. I just don't associate the two together, you know, with two together. It's a good band, I've heard. Yeah, it is. Uh, Dave Grohl did drummer for them a while. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. Hey, uh, oh, that's right. You know, it was kind of. Uh, I heard that uh, before all this coronavirus crap happened. I think it was it uh, Joan Jett. I think was supposed to be on tour, or was it Pat Benatar? One of the two supposed to be touring again. Bro, I had tickets to go see Collie Buds, and I had tickets to go see, like, a bunch of, like, reggae artists at fucking Reggae on the River this year, and they, it all got canceled. I lost out on, like, 300 bucks that I'm going to have to get reissued tickets and shit when they restart it. That's horrible. At least you have something to look forward to later on, you know? No, for sure. It's just weird, dude. I could finally, I finally have a, like a decent job, and I have money to afford to go do things, and I can't do do shit no, right now. No, you can't do things right now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So it's a go it's a godsend, I guess, to save money. Yeah, it's true. You know what I'm saving money on is haircuts. You can't get there's no no one gives out haircuts <laughs> right now. Bro, I have my oh, brother thirty dollars a month. Right there. Three, yeah, pretty much. Pretty oh, much. Chris, tell Chris, go ahead, dude. Order a hazmat suit online, and you can be that hazmat haircutter. Mom, bring bring over your scorpion costume, and I'll I'll fade you up. Scorpion, <laughs> Jacob wins. <laughs> no, I I I haven't had this hair this long. Gosh, I don't know how long. I been... know oh, mine's getting pretty wild too. Around my ears, about that's what I hate. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. About ten years, I've been had my my, my hair this long on the side. It's Dude, you're looking like crazy. a straight up hippie. Yeah, I know. <laughs> at least I use. At least I use soap. We all use know. soap, bro. It's all about how often. No hippies. Yeah. I know. That's what I'm saying. We all use soap. It's all about how often. I have a three. I have a strict three day rule. You gone three days without taking a shower? 
No, it's just using soap. I still take the shower. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that makes sense. And you want to dry out your skin. Sure. So, I have a question. Uh, do you actually, is all this shit true about ozone coming back and fucking the environment actually fucking recovering? Or is that just a bunch of propaganda shit they're posting? To make well, I heard that the pollution out? levels are way lower. No, I mean, I, it, I would actually like to see this make a difference. Uh, it would it, it would be all worth it to stay even longer indoors. Well, the the ozone layer was 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 depleting because of the chlorofluorocarbons from uh, propellants and aerosol cans and such like that. So and uh, styrofoam, the old school styrofoam. Which so is a horrible invention, that and plastic. We talk about the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica. Well, no, I, yeah, in general, I mean, there, there's all you know how it is. It's YouTube and it's it's. The media, they're all saying, I just don't know if that's just to quail us about, you know, to make us feel better about being indoors. Also, I don't really believe all the, uh, the all the, the severity of, of the situation as is, is well, you know. Uh, you know, they're saying that all these cases keep showing up, but, you know, if you already have the antibody and you are fine, then that still counts as a case. You know no, I mean, I mean what? It, what? Uh, if you do the math, what is it up to? What's What's the death rate compared no, to the silk, fucking actual silk, virus spread? It still counts as a case. Yeah, that's it, it's their cases, and there's people that have been uh, died from the cases. So that's and people that have tested negative from the cases. That's also an important number. That's yeah, uh, but that's no one's talking you know. about the people that are testing negative. Like, and, and you take that ratio, once you create a ratio of people that have tested positive, people that have tested negative, you can kind of extrapolate that if you can get all those numbers throughout the entire country. That That's uh, some good yeah, data. Yeah, but I'm saying, right isn't, it, isn't it still below 2%? The death it, rate? It depends so, on the age age level. You know, it goes up significantly once you get closer to uh, being a senior citizen. You know, it's up to 12, is it 20% if you're over 65, I think. I mean, I watch, we watch CNN pretty much every morning for two hours before I had to work. So that way I kind of got a grasp on what's going on in the world, but I'm just there. That's what I, that's, that's who I rely upon for the numbers. And it still seems like it's less than 2%. And that's right. Seems really but it's hard. highly communi It's very highly communicable though. That's, that's the thing. It's, yeah, but it, it seems like them stopping the rate of, of infection is actually what's keeping it that way. I mean, if, if it would just spread and be, it would burn itself out like a like a wildfire. Yes, yeah, I know. Yes, they said that it's uh, social distancing without an actual uh, vaccine doesn't destroy the disease. No, we're so just like smallpox. So the hospitals can deal with it. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, they, they yeah, but also they had people saying too that uh, from the, from the hospital saying that you know what they're not going to run out of beds. You know, we have ways to take care of people. Stuff like that, so don't freak out because people are getting freaked out with all kinds of stuff. You know, uh, I'm not gonna be able to. Plus, you know what? They won't even see you unless you, they, you feel that you have Corona. I went when I wanted wanted some more medication. I had to do a I had to do a Zoom to go to my, for my psychiatrist, and then to see my regular practitioner. They they canceled my appointment, and they just had a phone call conversation. He took my uh, uh, symptoms down because I thought I was getting you know a cold or something, and so he just sent a, just directly wired my med medication without uh, you having to worry about uh, coming in. Uh, that's, hey, what, that's, what's, that, what's that medication out of curiosity? Prednisone, antibiotics. Okay, Z-Pack. Yeah. yeah. They don't want to talk with that. Anything. You know, the, 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 if I've heard the RNs come through my line, they said, yeah, they're not going to argue with you at all about medications. You know, sure, you feel you feel like you're sick, you need a medication. Uh, do you have a, they, they're checking for the coronavirus, uh, you know, symptoms. If it doesn't sound like that to them, they say, here, here's your medication. Then they call me back if, if, if you start feeling sicker. And now that's it. I don't even have to come in. I think it was cool to go for, for, with, with a psychiatrist part because it's all the way out in Manteca. And I didn't have, that's a whole hour just driving, you know, back and, you know, you know, full trip. I just, for a ten minute, uh, you know, conversation, I just get my, my medication refilled, and I'm good. I say well, we should do that more often. Yeah. What do you think? What? Do you, what do you, I think you're right. Yeah. I think the healthcare uh, system should uh, migrate more towards doing this online stuff in this this digital age. It doesn't make sense. Uh, they can still figure out a way to bill it, 
I mean, that's the reason they don't, they haven't adopted yet is because they don't want to miss out on that money. They want to make sure you come into the doctor's office so you can sign a form that says uh, the insurance is going to give them this, this, uh, this little bit of loot. Well, also, well, hey, you know, they're using using Zoom, it's it, it's accounted for. You know, they, there was a conversation that when there was a uh, you know an appointment on Zoom, you know, over the internet, they were spoken to. You still get charged, you know. So, it, and if I don't contest any of the, any of the payments, you know, I'm actually in the middle of a fucking. I'm like 25 days, 25 days into a 45 day process of getting my. Medical transferred from Stanislaus County to Mendocino County, and it's like, how did I don't know how that became such a fucking hassle to get your shit transferred up here? Shit's no, ridiculous, bro. Like really they almost ridiculous. wouldn't see me. Really? They that almost wouldn't ridiculous. see me. The yeah, room. I've heard that stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. That's why I'm like, that's why I was like 100% Bernie fucking Sanders, bro. Like that's that's. Before he dropped out, that was that was my dude in the race. Well, well, we're not. Oh, yeah. Sorry, we're not supposed to talk about politics. That's what, what, that's what he said. But just, oh, uh, just, just one bad. thing. I'll, well, no, I'm not hating on you. I just, I was gonna say something, but then Chris said not to you know about stuff like that. But just, right, just one ahead, little. What, what? Okay, one little thing. One little thing. Think about this. Because uh, Bernie Sanders, he, he he's for socialism, and I think he really is a good person and wants to help the country. But think of it this way: even communism sounds good on paper, but in in practice, look how it, how it happens. It becomes a dictatorship. There's more control of the people over the people. You know, it's, and it, it it doesn't work. Socialism doesn't work. It has to turn into communism eventually, and and you know a lot more of your rights have to be taken away. You know, with that kind of regime. But uh, but I think Bernie Sanders is an honest person, and he's a you know caring human being. It's just I so think if he, he became president, maybe that his uh, form of socialism might work. Well, the, uh, socialism I've heard usually works uh, temporarily, but then uh, but, but it has to turn back to capitalism or it has to go to communism because it only lasts for so long the way that it's set up, you know. Here's my thought: How about we have a capitalistic socialism? How about we already do? But that's that's what Social Security is. Yeah, exactly. So we just keep it the same way. Even my grandfather said that there are some aspects of socialism that are actually good for the people, including, you know, of course, so, you know, Social Security stuff like that. But he Post says, office, I have, I, schools. Yes, yes, but he says, but it's understood that. If you're in a capitalist country, that you work just like you, you, you know, you and your brother do. You work. You try to keep your head above water on your own, and you want the least amount of interference from the from the government as you possibly can. You know what I mean? You be your own person. If you need to hand up, hand up, not hand out. Then, then you do that. You know, take the money just like in Cinderella Man. He gave the money back, didn't have to, but he got back on his feet on his own. He didn't want to live off the government. He wanted to be independent. You know, free. Oh, you're not way to give a shout out, bro. Oh, I just that's sorry. Good. I'm just giving my opinion. I'm not saying everybody's wrong. I'm just that's that's what I think. Uh, Frogger, what did you have to say? <laughs> Frogger. Bouncing in and out. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't know we had Tron on on our chat. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hey, bro, I got like twenty eight percent left on my battery, so. Do you have a charger? I'll be bouncing out here soon. Yeah, but yeah, but not exactly where I'm at right now. Um. 